What's up guys, it's Nate Thompson with Battleground BMX and I'm bringing you our second video blog. The last one went over pretty well, a lot of people seem to like it, so we've got another one for you. Bear with me, it's only my second time doing this, so uh, like, I said, like, like I said last time, don't be too critical. But uh, today is August 12th, 2011 and we've got a few things on the agenda today and uh, hopefully you guys will get a kick out of it. It's going to be a lot shorter than last week, last week's was a little too long. But uh, bear with me and uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy what we've got to say. First off on the uh, business, the Minutes of Mayhem video contest. You've only got, counting today, you've only got four days left. Final submissions are due in Monday, August 15th by 12 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. That's noon for everybody that can't really tell time. It's noon on Monday. So you've got one weekend left to really, you know, work hard get a good edit in. It's a, the, the only rule for this contest is it's three minute time limit. That's it. You can film anywhere on any kind of ramps, anything. So go out this weekend and get something filmed. We've got $250 cash on the line for the winner of this contest. And once we get all the submissions in and everything, we're going to let the, you, know, you guys, the users of the website, vote on the winner. So we don't pick the winner. You guys are going to pick the winner. So check that out. I hope you guys are working hard on something neat for, you know, this weekend. Uh, let's see, the next thing on the agenda, there's a bunch of contests and stuff coming up this week, next week, and pretty much the rest of August. There's all kinds of neat stuff going on. But uh, first off, we're going to talk about the stuff going on here in Virginia. Next week, starting Thursday, August 18th at 5.30 p.m. at the Bike Lot in Richmond, we've got Best Friends Day. This, I've never been to it. I've always, you know, been out of town on the same weekend as this, but this is a pretty wild event. This is a four-day event, and what it is, it's, I think it's a little bit of bike riding on Thursday, and a little bit Saturday, and a good bit of bike riding on Sunday, but in between all that, there's a ton of bands. I mean, there's more bands than I can list on here right now. Check them out on Facebook, Best Friends Day 10. Look them up on Facebook, and there's, there's like, I don't even know. It's like it looks like 30 bands. Maybe it's not that much, but it sure looks like it. There's a ton of bands, different ones playing Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So you guys definitely, if you're in Virginia or anywhere near here, you need to check that out. And the bike lot has one of the best mini ramps ever. Perfect six foot mini ramp with a wall on one side to do wall rides and stuff. Definitely check that out if you're down here. And let's see. Next thing. In, happening here in Virginia also. Fast Times and Pizza Pie, Sunday, August 28th from 3 o'clock to 7 o'clock p.m. at Chicho's Bar on 29th Street. And uh, what this is, this is another one of those events trying to raise money for Mike Tag. So I know, I'm sure you guys have all been kind of following that a little bit. You know, Mike Tag is going through, uh, he's got, uh, going through, I guess, I don't want to say exactly what he has, I don't know off the top of my head. But to pay for his treatment and stuff, everybody's been raising, you know, doing these jams and stuff to raise money for him because he can't work while he's going through the chemo treatment. So you guys need to check that out. On August 28th in uh, Virginia Beach, Virginia, they're going to have a box jump contest, best trick on the box jump. They're going to have a highest bunny hop contest. They're going to have all sorts of crazy things like that out there. And uh, that's going to be pretty neat. We're going to be there. I hope you guys are going to be there. Check it out. Raise some money for Mike Tag. And the next thing, it's happening, I guess, on Sunday. Probably a little too late for anybody watching this to go to it, if you'd even be into that. But apparently, the Battle for Granville in Vancouver, British Columbia. That's uh, apparently there's going to be some major big jumps right in the middle of the city, right there on, uh, I think, Granville Street or something. And the jumps are going to be built by Wade Ladgelar. Who, I'm not sure who he rides for now, but he used to ride for McNeil. That guy does some wild stuff. But uh, check them out on RideBMX.com if you want to find out, you know, any results or videos of the event, anything like that. Check them out on RideBMX.com. Look up, it's type in Battle for Granville. And have a look at those guys. Let's see. The next thing, Ray's Mountain Bike Park on August 27th is having a dirt contest. It's going to be, it's a pro-am contest, and it's at Ray's Mountain Bike Park in Cleveland, Ohio. 
And if you guys have ever seen footage of this place, you know this is the wildest place around. I mean, there is nothing like this anywhere else. I mean, except for the Rays in Milwaukee, but it's the same thing. You know, just it's still Rays Mountain Bike Park, but there are other ones even crazier. But definitely check this out. They're going to have, let's see, they're going to have uh, pro, expert, beginner, and a 24-inch and up you know, mountain bike class. And apparently the contest is going to be held in their dirt room. You know, I know if you guys have ever been there or heard of it, they've got their whole place is divided up in different rooms that have different unique crazy obstacles. And they've got one whole room with indoor dirt jumps. So check that out. Uh, the rhythm room, if you guys know anything about it, is going to be open during this contest for just normal free riding. And that's pretty neat to check out. It's lots of rhythm sections. Uh, I think it's mostly made of wood. It goes all through this room, different, you know, box jumps, curve wall rides, all kinds of, you know, smaller rhythm related stuff. Real technical. Definitely check that out if you guys are anywhere near Cleveland, Ohio, August 27th. This is guaranteed to be one wild contest. I mean, just going to the whole place and experiencing the whole thing should be real neat. So you guys definitely need to check that out. That is Ray's Mountain Bike Park in Cleveland, Ohio. Check it out. And let's see. Next up on our list is the product spotlight. And every, you know, every week we're going to try to highlight new, unique, cool, crazy products that we've seen around. And this week we caught it on RideBMX.com. We saw these. These are new, uh, I guess they're technically three-piece cranks that look like and work like two-piece cranks from Eclat. I think that's how you say their name. But they're called the Onyx cranks. These things are just crazy. I mean, these things have all kinds of little extra bosses welded on them in different areas and stuff. They use 4130 chromoly as uh, as most good cranks are nowadays. And let's see, let's get some stats here. They've got an ultra hollow axle that's real neat, saves a lot of weight, and uh, they're available in 170 to 175 millimeter lengths, and they come in matte black and chrome. I uh, didn't get a price for these things. They're probably pretty expensive, but the workmanship on these, again, just like last week's products, this is, I mean, just top-notch work. These guys are doing some really neat stuff. Definitely check them out at, let's see, www.eclatbmx.com. They've got a whole line of stuff. They've got a couple, they've got two different kinds of cranks. They've got some chain wheels. They've got grips. They've got tires. They've got seats. They've got everything and the workmanship is great. I don't know if it's made in the USA but I have a good feeling that it is but like I said it is just top-notch stuff. Definitely check them out and uh, let's see Sean Burns if you guys have ever seen him if you've ever seen Anthem 2 he rides for them. I don't know if he's running these cranks but if he is you guys should definitely check that out because if they can stand up to anything he dishes out they can definitely stand up to what you dish out. I mean, that guy does the craziest, the scariest stuff I've ever seen. I mean, just scary to watch. Just unbelievable. Check out Anthem 2. He's, uh, he's got the ender part. Check that out if you, have, if you want to see what he's really all about. But these guys, again, eclatbmx.com. Definitely check these out. They're definitely worth, it's definitely worth your time. And next up on, we're going to keep things short this week. Last week's video was way too long. I'm going to keep it pretty short. Up next is we're going to talk about what's lame in BMX this week. And it's not as big a deal as last week. We're not protesting some skate park that's you know, kicking out bike riders or something. But this week, the lamest thing I saw is I've seen two or three videos on various sites. I'm not going to you know, call it out straight, the video. But almost the entire video is made up of box jump tricks on a resi box. And it looks like the resi box thing is easily removable. It's on top of a normal box jump. I just, you know, with top pros and stuff, it just there's it not the same doing it on a resi box as doing it on the real box. I mean, the tricks, yeah, the tricks are pulled. And a lot of these guys, and that's the kind of riding I like to watch even, doing some wild, crazy stuff. But you can't film a whole part on a resi box. That's just, that's just not right. If you got a real box underneath it, Pull that, you know, pull them, you know, the padding off and let that shit fly. I mean, that, if you're gonna film a part, if it's worth filming, you gotta film it right. I'm just against the whole, you know, filming almost an entire part, three different incidents on nothing but a resi ramp. I'm not a big fan of that. 
I don't have a problem with using foam box, I mean foam pits, resi ramps, anything like that. I think it's a good tool for learning wild stuff, but you can't, I don't, I just don't think that the top pros or anyone really should be filming, filming on a resi ramp. That's just me. It's not that big a deal and maybe it'll piss a lot of people off. I'm not trying to. I'm just saying that's what I think is lame this week. So I'm not really sorry about saying that. That's just my opinion. That's pretty lame. But either way, it's not as big a deal as next as last week. Maybe next week we'll have something you know that actually matters that we'll talk about. And you know, stay tuned next week for that. But that's pretty much all we have for this week. Like I said, we're gonna keep it short, just kinda showing you guys what we think is neat and maybe you guys can go and check out all these different sites contests and stuff and products on your own and see what you make of it but uh, check us out at www.battlegroundbmx.com check out our minutes of mayhem contest even if you don't enter next week we're going to have all the submissions up on the site and on facebook so you guys can vote on the winner the winner gets 250 dollars in cash so definitely check that out and if you have any questions, comments, or anything like that, you can email me at info at battlegroundbmx.com. And that's all I have this week. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully it's a lot shorter than last time. And check us out next Friday.